A very good morning to all our listeners and welcome to this morning's edition of the Talk of the Town. For the News First team, I am Jaima Ratnaika and this morning I have with me former chairman of the Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka, Mr. Janaka Ratnaika, who is now, can be considered a political or civil activist who is advocating for a Sri Lanka free of corruption. A very good morning to you, Mr. Ratnaika and welcome on the show. Good morning to everyone. Mr. Ratnaika, we saw last week yeah. where... In front of the CID, there were a bunch of civil activists who were protesting yeah. to arrest the former health minister, Kehelia Rambukwella, who has been complicit or is said to be have been complicit in the procurement of substandard human immunoglobulin drugs. And when Minister Rambukwella was arrested and remanded, you were among the civil activists who were jubilant and who were celebrating that announcement. So, Mr. Ratnayaka, with this announcement, you say that this is a landmark announcement and a landmark decision by the judiciary. We know that the judicial process is still ongoing, but do you believe that this can be the start of eradicating impunity in Sri Lanka? I think uh, this is a, a very good uh, landmark uh, case where a cabinet minister has been arrested over a, a corrupt and uh, wrong uh, act of, you know, engaging uh, in uh, corruption. And uh, why I say it's landmark decision, because uh, all these years, the untouchable politicians thought that they can do anything and get away. Mm. But things are changing for better because we have to change things. Otherwise, from the depth that we have fallen, mm. we can never come up. And when you talk about this corruption and transparency, IMF also talking about, you know, same uh, issues because this is where we have become weaker because, this, because of this only, the country has f facing a similar situation like what you are facing today. Mm. And this type of, you know, decisions by the judiciary and the action of uh, CID mm. has to be commended because this is the first time a minister of a ruling government, sitting uh, cabinet minister, although holding a different portfolio, has been uh, a culprit of a incident of this nature. Mm. So therefore, it is very important that we take this as an example and move forward. Mm. And we will not talk about only the health sector. We are talking about other sectors as well, where the corruption has been, you know, initiated. You know, some time back would have probably seen that, you know, pe people had many files, you know, in their hands and they were running everywhere. Mm. But no action has been taken. But this is the first time that, you know, some real action has taken. Mm. I think this is a positive sign to the people, but negative sign to the politicians because powerful politicians, now say it's the same politicians, got involved almost two years back when I was the chairman of BUCSL mm. without paying his uh, electricity bill. Right. And not only that, you know, they even chased the people who came to disconnect the, the electricity connection. connection. And remember, you know, that incident, right. you know, but now the same one has become very vulnerable mm. and he has become yes, he, the suspect, culprit, the suspect of a case. Mm. And therefore, I feel that this type of incidents mm. or maybe this type of decisions by the judiciary and the action by the CID mm. should be encouraged mm. and even to reduce the corruption that we see in the other areas. Right. Yeah. So you say that corruption and those who engage in corruption are now under the limelight. Yes. They are under the spotlight yeah. because people are more aware. Yeah. They want accountability. They want the people ruling them to be responsible, honest and genuine political leaders. Yeah. But we know there is a presidential election coming up, Mr. Ratnayaka, and there have been several figures acting as alternatives yeah. to the current system who say that they can change the current system. In your opinion, very quickly tell me, who is your alternative? My alternative would be a person who has a better plan mm. to rescue the country. Now, I, why I say rescue the country? Because we have now declared as a bankrupt country and therefore we need to make sure that we rescue the country from the present situation mm. and develop further. Mm. Now, see, we are talking about, you know, 50% of people who, who are going through maybe hunger. Mm. And uh, you talk about anything, any sector, maybe the health sector, education, transport, any sector has been affected because of the present situation. Therefore, the future leaders should come out with a proper plan as to how they will develop the country, improve the economy and improve the lifestyle of the people. Yes. And when someone has a plan of that nature, mm. they should come out and, you know, give to the people that the people will decide. Mm. But I feel that the present politicians who are probably, you know, making alliances, you can see that, you know, almost on daily basis, we see... New alliances. New alliances. <laughs> it has become a joke. Mm. And alliances will is formed by the 
same politicians in different groups. Right. And they talk about, you know, the good and bad of, you know, the other side and they, they will try to probably get that some undue advantages. Right. But people should be mindful this time to get the right leaders, preferably from non-political background, mm. who has, you know, administrative cap capabilities, who has a plan to rescue the country and develop mm. and make sure that immediately the hunger of the people will be eradicated mm. and the GDP is doubled. Mm. And we cannot wait maybe for the next 25 years to develop the country, then we are, we all are gone, you know, even unborn people would be, you know, in the middle age. Mm. Therefore, we need a plan maybe from within 5 to 10 years mm. to come out from this, the misery and make sure that the country is developed to earn revenues mm. and to manage our debt repayment, mm. manage our imports and manage our expenditure and make sure that people are fed properly and used properly mm. for the economic development. Right. That was the candid view of my guest this evening, Mr. Janaka Ratnayaka, former chairman of the Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka. Thank you very much for joining me on Talk of the Town this morning, Mr. Ratnayaka. Thank you very much, Ratnayaka. And that is the way it was on the Talk of the Town. Take care and have yourselves a great morning.